In the previous videos, I explained the SEM, TEM, HRTEM, EDEX, AFM, UV visible, and FDIR. In this video, I'll explain XRD analysis. The crystallinity of a sample is determined with the aid of X-ray diffraction or XRD analysis. Beyond the purpose of identification, it can be used to serve additional information. XRD patterns can be used for determining the element proportions if the sample is in a mixture form. The degree of crystallinity, deviation of a particular element from its ideal composition, and its structural state can also be derived from, derived from the data analysis. In XRD pattern, the De Bacherer equation is used to calculate the crystalline size of nanoparticles. In this equation, tau is the mean crystalline size, theta is the Bragg angle, beta is the line broadening at half the maximum intensity or FWHM. K is a dimensionless shape factor about 0.99 and lambda is the X-ray wavelength. This figure represents the XRD pattern of synthesized titanium dioxide nanoparticles. For these nanoparticles, the diffractions were observed at 27, 36, 41, 44, 54, 56, 62, uh, 64, and 69 degrees, indicating that the major crystalline phase of the uh, titanium dioxide nanoparticles were rutile. Mean crystalline size of the synthesized titanium dioxide nanoparticles, which obtained by Scherer equation, are 56 nanometer. This figure shows the XRD pattern of titanium dioxide nanoparticles in anatase phase. The diffraction peaks were observed at 25 and 48 degrees that indicate the formation of titanium dioxide nanoparticles in anatase phase. According to the Bayer equation, the crystalline size of these nanoparticles are 49, uh, 41 nanometer. This video is part of a series of videos on materials characterization techniques. In the next video, I'll discuss dynamic light scattering or DLS. If this is your first time here and you want to learn material characterization techniques, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you for watching this video.